My friends, I like to discuss about security, also thinking ahead or analyzing what happened last year in terms of evolution. Uh, there is a lot of uh, exploitation that is browser-based and a uh, few years ago uh, we started to see articles, I'm talking about 2018, yeah, 2018 about uh, the usage of WebAssembly for malicious purpose. Actually that got a few years after amplified by stats on how many websites are were actually running WebAssembly for malicious purpose. If you actually look into this picture, obviously AD inject and other malware campaign are really popular and is quite easy to forecast a, a numbers going up uh, over and over. So if you look uh, at the last conversation uh, in terms of uh, scripting, back in the days there was not much support uh, on web apps assembly from uh, other languages, but right now there are a lot of, of way to do it and it's getting a bit more popular. And uh, this way to reuse also code that was already written can let me assume that that will be an increase on uh, exploitation by that. We see malware moving to Rust, Golang. We see how effective campaign uh, uh, in uh, DOM script uh, side like uh, Magic Cart is actually caching. You see WebAssembly used for mining coins, but I think it's just the beginning. So it's extremely difficult to have a WAF signature that is effective on that. And uh, what I'm trying to suggest is uh, keep an eye on this topic. WebAssembly is definitely a good candidate uh, going forward uh, for more trouble. He is for sure a troublemaker. The potential that he's having is high in terms of uh, capabilities. So think about it. It's uh, food for thought. Thanks for the chat. Take care. Cheers. Bye bye.